it doesn't matter from where you start it doesn't matter from where you belong it doesn't matter from where you have come from from which college it doesn't matter what matters at the end of the day is your skills hey guys welcome back so today we are going to discuss about survival and career growth so basically what happens uh, while you are in the industry sometimes you don't realize whether you are surviving in the industry or you are growing in the industry so what happens it's been i just know my uh, in the december month i completed 3 year journey in corporate world so i thought i should share my journey with you my my first two year journey so that and so that you may learn something from my journey so you know throughout my journey whatever experienced i i am having so i thought like i should summarize my experience and i should give a definition in my point of view the definition of survival and growth is something like that survival means whenever you are getting something some task or anything you are getting and you are making it done that is called survival and growth means when you are keep on adding something new in your bucket and you are making the things possible this is called growth and this definition is completely on my experience based now today why i am going to share my journey you must be wondering why should i listen to you okay but the thing is i am not somebody 7 or 10 year experience or 10 year old in the industry i'm somebody who have just completed her 3 year of experience so that so many people who are going to start their journey in in the industry they may learn something from my mistake and they can improve themselves in the industry or they can get something get some idea oh i can do this thing also in the industry so this will be not completely wasted of your time but it will be some way somewhere it will benefit you in your future so let's get started so basically while i wo i got my offer letter in 2016 december means i am 2017 pass out so i got my offer letter from cognizant in 2016 i'm talking about my some past thing because you should know how i was before joining the cognizant so that people can correlate with me and they can they can feel you know the pressure on me they can feel the level of uh, mine what what level i had that time so while if i talk about 2016 when i got the offer letter i was considering myself as an average student who got an offer who luckily got an offer that's all i was not happy not happy because you know you know in college even people around you are getting so many offer letter and all the things and that will not makes you happy though you have one offer letter at least you have a job but you don't feel happy it happens right it really hard to see your friends and they are having offer of 3 to 4 and you feel like oh my god why not me why am i am not in that position but now after 3 year of experience i realized one thing time changes okay this is the true fact and um, i thought when i got serious means after some time like from the next uh, next year 2000 from 2017 i thought like now i should get serious about my profile now i should get serious about what i am going to do in the industry what i am going to do as a software developer though i was not bad in anything i was an average i was good student i was good in all the subject subjects no backlog cgpa was a tab of everything was fine but nothing was going like what i wanted i wanted to be somewhere but i ended up being you know somewhere else so it was february 2017 i realized that i should learn things now i should you know put my effort in learning new technologies so that i can get what i want in the future and in 20, 2017 february i started learning asp.net and c sharp and in march from march i started developing project in asp.net and c sharp and my final final year project was completely on that now what next 
So I developed the project end to end means I worked on end to end flow because I wanted to learn each and everything in the project. I just don't wanted to work on only on the front end or only on the back end because that time I realized that I should get serious about the things because while I was uh, you know sitting in the interviews I didn't realize that what is important DSA is important coding skills you should have at least a good coding skills to get those company actually i i it was my mistake that i did not had a background verification of all the company i didn't do that so that's completely my mistake so i have to make myself proof like okay you have done some mistake now you should improve yourself you should get over it so that's what i tried after graduation i uh, you know i built one more website that was completely on asp.net c sharp and uh, my database was sql server i completed another website in after graduation that is from march after march 2017 then from after completing that website in one month then i switched to learning java i started learning java yes i took only java as my core skills and i started digging into that i started working on the programs i started working on the dsa skills i tried to improve that that time a lot then i realized now i should take some i should uh, you know opt some certification so that it may help me in the industry or whatever i have done in the past now it doesn't matter but i have to prove myself somewhere in the industry so i did one certification i was searching on google which certification is better which can help me to grow then i came to know like if you are doing java certification then yes it required at least you know uh, some experience in that and it's not easy to clear so what is easy to clear that time i researched about the certification i came to know yeah sql fundamental i can clear it easily and that what required it required some skills and some training i did 3 month training offline training in pune and i worked on there i worked on that and i i was i was certified in sql oracle fundamental now what next i had a good now 2017 i feel was a productive year for me because i was not knowing much before getting an offer letter but once i got the offer letter i thought like now i should get serious about my profile i should get what i want but here is the problem i knew that the profile will be luck based means your project will be luck based i keep on updating my profile on the uh, uh, you know that one cognizant portal i added sql i added my certification i added asp.net c sharp everything and you know what luckily i got a project which was completely based on asp.net c sharp and you know the database everything means they were using only exactly the same technologies i have uh, like you know i have worked on in the 2017 so that was the luck on 7th of december i joined the company and on 17 i was tagged into that project and luckily i got an offer like where you want to work whether you want to work on the front end back end or you want to work as a database developer then i realized I have already built two website though to and also I'm having certification in SQL but the thing is the SQL what I learned is a fundamental SQL but how industry use this SQL I didn't knew the front end will be same the back end the C sharp will be based on the business but I thought like how they are using SQL because while I was developing my website I used to have that dot SQL file somewhere in my folder that's how i used to do then you know my training helped me a lot you know i did not get much training on the project i did not took help from people around me in the database i i started working on it as soon as i got the task i started working on it and you know what whatever you are doing in the past whatever you are learning that is somewhere going to help you out and that's what happened with me i did i you know i completed the task i i grasped the thing very quickly and yes i was a quick learner i i am a quick learner actually and i learned very fast and that that thing that capability of me helped me a lot in the industry then after two month of working in as, as a sql developer i find it easy like okay i'm good in that but what next 
then i got somewhere i got an opportunity there is a there was a new project which was under the same domain i got tagged into that project and i got an opportunity whether you work as a java developer front end developer or you want to work as a data model data model means somewhere you are working around with the data architect so that opportunity was a great opportunity for me i thought like why would why won't i say no to database dev, database architect i would love to work with them then i started from uh, you know from january 2018 january 2018 and february i worked as a database developer from march april may i worked as a data modeler data i with the data architect team and that was my best experience i have and throughout that journey throughout the 3 month of through 3 month working with the architect or from on site and offshore whoever you uh, you know you are surrounded with it was a great learning i that time i, I somewhere i understood the business and i saw like how data flows how they think about creating the architect of that data model i thought like you know it's very simple it looks very simple to see you know the data the database the mapping of the table and all, everything looks very simple but that time i realized oh my god it's not that easy but it was a challenging for me and i accepted that challenge and i worked throughout i put in my effort throughout that then after some time after 3 month of experience the database everything was like a time comes when things get closed means architecture will be now uh the development will start and ar architecture will be less the things the work in architect will be less so that time came in somewhere in between uh may then that time i another time uh, the, this was this was this was a third time i got an opportunity like now ne what is next because that thing is already over it's about to over it's not required much resource so i uh, again they asked me where you want to go would you like to go into java angular or like elastic search then i heard the term elastic search i thought like what is elastic search why we need this in our project then i researched it on then i searched it on the google what is elastic search oh my god that was completely new to me i heard that word first time then i thought like why should not i take this challenge from may and till november I just explored myself in the elastic search and I learned that technology very quickly after that I had a you I I I put it myself in you know a hell lot of development hell lot of making queries and I learned it so well that that I started a YouTube channel which is Teggy Lifestyle and I started teaching elastic search on my channel and you know what I got this response also on my channel from elastic team that was the blessing any youtuber should any youtuber can uh, you know uh, you know dreamed of that you are teaching something and that person that community is commenting on your uh, on your you know video so that was like a dream comes true for me but this is all about you know the elastic search thing then from november elastic search was almost like a very it's it become normal for me now i was in the saturation stage now i wanted something new then it was november 2018 i thought like now i should approach my manager again and i should ask him is there any other possibility that i can go to back end or front end now the journey started from november like i was working on i started working on back end which was java and that time i suffered a little bit why because from last one year i did not practice code and this was my mistake so once you are in software development once you are a coder once you are a software engineer don't forget to practice code else you are going to have that suffering at the initial stage so this is where i found myself oh my god i should have given some time at least in a day or saturday sunday to practice some code it was one year i did not touch a single code of java and then yeah it was a difficult december 
to understanding the thing to understanding the flow of the project to understanding what is service what is controller what is you know uh, where we write bus uh, business logic the service what is dto what is entity we were working on the spring boot okay so it was challenging for me but at the end of the day i learned it well and i started taking task which is a little complex i i started you know you know eating my eating uh, uh, my tech leads head like i want i want some task i want uh, i started eating my uh, managers head like hey there uh, means i want something ch some challenging task i want to grow myself i want to learn let me learn just give me task i'll take my time but i will do it and meanwhile while i was working on that whenever i get time i used to create an application like a crud application from front end back end and how front end back end are communicating with each other so i started learning that whenever i get time whenever i used to get time that time it was 2019 now uh, i got an ex exposure on the angular also but uh, before you know heading towards the angular i just wanted to learn html css and javascript so whenever i used to get time i you know i researched so many tutorials on internet i practice a lot like how to create the web like front end with the help of html css and javascript i learned that then i came to see the angular code how it works how it flows that i used to take help from the other angular people the other angular developer how it is working can you make me understand like how the things are flowing then it was november 2019 i was i found myself like yes i had i have i i had a good exposure in each and everything in my project whether it is a database whether it is a you know front end back end or elastic search at the end of the day i realized that yeah i learned a lot and that was not me in 2016 it was a new version of me that i built for i built myself into that i built myself fsd i was not born with a silver spoon of fsd i built myself throughout the two year i learned on different i learned different technologies i worked on different thing and whenever i got an opportunity i have made use of that i always put my effort in you know learning new things i always kept myself very flexible and very adaptive in learning new things every time so that is my whole journey of 2 year it's just a 2 year and today i am in the 3 year completion and what i found today like everything is good everything is going good so take your journey very seriously from this day 1 just put your efforts once you get the offer letter just start digging your start creating your profile start working on your profile if you are working on your profile the company ne will not stop you to go into that profile so it's you who is going to create your profile and you who has to build yourself uh, for a profile so start building yourself start developing yourself and start developing your skills which is very important don't think like nothing is anything is impossible because as soon as you start the things become easy the things become normal and things big looks very uh, you know happening so this is what i wanted to say it doesn't matter from where you start it doesn't matter from where you belong it doesn't matter from where you have come from from which college it doesn't matter what matters at the end of the day is your skills how much you have developed yourself it doesn't matter in the at the time of interview how much knowledge you had what was your level what matters is how you are growing yourself in the industry how you are improving yourself in the industry how you are developing your skills how you are learning so that's what really matters while you are in the industry and you should grow yourself each and every day and you should try learning new things each and every day and be productive instead of sitting idle and thinking about the future dream less work more thank you guys thank you for watching hope this video was helpful for you if it was helpful for you don't forget to press thumbs up that really helps me a lot so don't forget to press thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and press the subscribe button 
and also press the bell icon so that you whenever i post any new video you will get the notification thank you guys thank you for watching